Okay, so just general feeling of overwhelm and uh, having difficulty with resentments with family. Yes, yeah, overwhelm and family. Well, over, overwhelm is usually when there's just so much resentment and fear and so much stuff going on. And in truth, there isn't fear and resentment and a lot of stuff going on. So what's happening is that the ego has given importance uh, to certain sit people, certain situations, uh, and wants to be in control in a multitude of areas. And because, you see, once, once the ego has a lot of data it's trying to track and identify with, let's say family, family issue, work issues, uh, partner issues, wanting to handle different things and future events in a certain way. See, all of that, when it becomes multiple things of identification and wanting to control different variables in the seen world, then all of that means that the ego is in huge tracking of, the exter of external data, of form of transitory phenomena. So all of that means that all that ego identification with things in the world will mean that one is totally cut off from the infinite light, the eternal light and the miraculous and the flow and the beauty and, uh, and the mystical in life because it's like it's just tracking so much stuff in the world that it's like one is cut off from the light and the love and of course you go into the darker lower vibration fields where you get what's called unmanageability so you go into a nightmare where you feel disconnected from the infinite and at the same time it's like everything starts going wrong unmanageability of, of phenomena uh, and it's like and even the relationships you, you have are also going wrong because you're disconnected you see and you get affected by them even more so it's like a not a virtuous circle, it would be the opposite of a virtuous circle where everything gets worse and worse, you know, and your body starts feeling depleted and, and everything starts going wrong. So what's the solu what, is, what is the solution to overwhelm? Well, this, I mean, you see, every time the ego tracks a, an event or a phenomena, uh, you're going to go to a lower vibration of consciousness, a darker field of consciousness. And if you, get, if you track too much data, like family, and too much events and you're trying to control the future and be in the ego and then in the head, then what happens is um, there's going to be feelings of overwhelm, which basically one is um, the ego, the more you're in the ego, the more you'll feel overwhelmed because there is no light and there is no love and there is no air, there is no nothing, it's just dark, you see. So one is being like a, a channel of darkness really, uh, because one is tracking too much data and so it's, there's the cut off of the, the, of, of the life force of the infinite. So, how do you deal with overwhelm? Well, there's different things. I mean, for me with overwhelm, I do identify the overwhelm. It's like, um, uh, then I'd sort out, what is my ego making the most important thing? You know, maybe there's 50 things going on which my ego is trying to track and get resentful and fearful of control, whatever it is. It's like, okay, the number one thing is health. Like, for example, I've been, I'll share from my experience, like I've been getting like a blocked nose and breathlessness. So it's like, oh, so my ego's like identifying and making like a story like death and you can't breathe and it's horrible. So it's like, then you start, you start like, uh, you're trying to dismantle the ego at, at, at uh, the biggest things out uh, that it think finds important and let those go. And trying to let everything go, you see. So then it's like, oh, if you can't breathe, well, what's going to happen? You're going to die. Well, you're going to leave, okay, then, and then what? You're going to leave the body. Well, so what? You know, if you can be okay with that, then suddenly the overwhelm will, will go down several notches. It's like family, um, family are behaving in a chaotic manner. And can you let it go? Uh, is there work I could do to let it go? Um, what if I admit I'm powerless over the whole situation and what will happen, what will happen? I can only do what I can do. I'm going to hand it all over. So again, the overwhelm will drop down several more notches. What if there's like future work events that I've got to organise and there's a hundred and two or two or three hundred variables that need to get done before the, that's what my ego's telling me. But the thing of course with, with the future work scenarios is that the more I track the data and the more I'm trying to think about it and control it in my head, the lower my vibration and the less flow, the less energy and the more likely things are going to go wrong. So if I can just let go and let things intuitively unfold and just hand the whole thing over, 
You've got to accept, and one of the things I do is accept the worst possible outcome so I can let it go. It's like, okay, I've got an event and there's a hundred things I need to do for this event next week. And if I don't do anything, I just chill out. But the worst that can happen is, you know, it'll, be an, it'll just be a total failure. And that's all right. You know, I'm, I'm willing to let it all go. And then whatever flows out of me will go and it might, go, uh, might not happen, it might go terribly, but I've let it go. So you, you see all, the, all these things in overwhelm start sort of going. Then what happens is, you know, and this is the thing, would I, would I prefer the, everything to get done miraculously without me making an effort? Or do I want to be in my head trying to do everything at 100 miles an hour and burning out and trying to make it perfect? And, you go, like, to, and I know from experience I prefer not to be there for my ego to disappear at all and just let things effortlessly flow. And I know from experience that that feel when there's effortlessness uh, is, is, is the best way for it to go forward. So what I'm doing is I'm trusting that, uh, that my ego being in control and trying to manage all the data is going to be a better solution than letting go and letting God effortlessly allow things to, to untold through that. So when I know that, then um, I've got, uh, it will mean I'll have to let go of the things I'm trying to hold on to. You know, am I trying to control the family? Am I trying to control my partner? Am I trying to control future events? You know, and then I have to like go, well, and for me it's not as, it can be as easy as I'm willing to let it all go in the moment. Like, you know, okay, well, if I die, I die. That's fine. I'm just going to let it go. Then, you know, I'll start to find I can start to breathe and the thing that I thought was a problem will start to disappear. Or if there is a, an event that I have to organize, it's like, okay, so usually what I'll do with things, I, I do various things on a practical level. Like sometimes if I go to a 12-step meeting or I speak to someone, I can suddenly just let the whole thing go. It's like it's not a big deal, you know. Or uh, I'll go to spiritual groups or I'll do a Course in Miracles lesson or I'll do a Course in Miracles prayer until it, what, what I'm trying to do, because I know this always invites the miracles is to disappear it, transcend it. Anything that my ego thinks is important or meaningful, that's the stuff that's going to cut me off from miracles. So I'm, I have to put it on the chopping block because it will always come back. There will always be another event to do. There will always be another family flare-up. So I'll always be, you know, and, and being in those low vibrations is just not a solution. I, I know that from experience. It does mean I have to do the work. And then am I willing to do the work to let it go? And then the ego will go like, don't do the spiritual work. Just try and control it because you'll be, you might do a better job. You know, but my thing is actually... But if I'm getting to the place of overwhelm, then usually what I'll do, because you know, overwhelm usually leads to my health deteriorating very rapidly, uh, is I go, okay, the, every, the whole world can wait. I'm going to spiritually connect, and then when I'm spiritually connected, I'll do I'll do something about it. You know, because uh, that's uh, it's just shown me that being in my ego is actually anti-life, uh, and so I must I must maintain my spiritual connection. So overwhelm, other, other things to do so is like letting go of the things that, I'll let go of the things if I'm an overwhelm that I think are the most important. What is my ego saying is the most important thing? And then I need to, I'll try and surrender the worst possible outcome and then I'll try and transcend it and disappear it. And I'll do the spiritual work, whether it's canceling beliefs, praying for a miracle, going to spiritual groups, speaking to holy company, speaking to holy friends, to let it go until it's not an issue. And then it's like that whole chunk that's blocking me off from God, from the light of God and those miracles and those flows will be just removed. So if I take the biggest one out and the smaller ones out, because maybe overwhelm is usually I'm trying to control 50 different things in one go and then feeling overwhelmed. But actually, it's my ego has vested interest in trying to control 50 things. That's what's giving me overwhelm. There's nothing wrong with the world. There's nothing going wrong in the world. It's just I'm, I've got stuff in my, that I'm choosing to identify. Like, let's say, um, make up some stupid stuff. I mean, let's say uh, on the news it was like an atom bomb's going to fall on London next week. Yes. And then it's like, and then it's like, I'm going to try and control it. I'm going to try and like find a way to stop this atom bomb from falling next week and go in my head and be overwhelmed for the next week. Or I can go like, or it'd be like, 
In a split second, I go, I'm going to just disappear it. I'm going to transcend it and let it go. That might happen, that might not. It's none of my business. I'm going to just be happy and free and connected to the infinite. And actually, I trust that me being in the infinite would be a better solution to that than me being in my head trying to control it the next week and being totally overwhelmed. So it's like, is it possible to let things go? Yes, of course it is. Everything. Even if you're going to die in the next moment, I could let that go and be happy for the moment before I die. So it's just with the willingness. So overwhelm is like not being willing. No, I want to be in, in overwhelm. I want to be in control of these 50 variables and then just totally collapse, but I'm going to hold on. So I'm making a choice to hold on to trying to control all this stuff and be in fear and resentment and think about it. Like, I will save and rescue the family. I will give the most perfect event in the future. I will make my partner love me, whatever it is. And being in all that mental stuff, that, that's overwhelm. So I'm not willing to let it go. And my experience is if I'm willing to let it all go and put it all on the chopping block, then uh, usually, I mean, my experience actually is always it goes better than me still trying to be in control of it. It is the paradox, you know, uh, um, the, that, that has been my experience. So, um, but it means you have to go through fear of letting the control go. You know, you, then the ego will say, like, if you don't prepare for the event, it's all going to go wrong, and everyone's going to think you're, you're useless. And if you don't try and rescue, rescue my partner, then she's going to go, it's all going to go wrong. So I've got to be in my head and try and control it and, and come up with the right answers. And, um, you know, or family, whatever it is. So, so, that's, so those, those are some of the tools, the prayers, doing the resentments, spending time doing the spiritual work to let it go, rather than trying to control it even more to get rid of the problem. Because the ego says, control and think about it more will solve the problem. And spirit would say, let it go and let the miraculous solve it for you. Be in those states of flow where everything just gets done mystically. Why do things get done mystically? It's because there's no ego there. When there's no ego there trying to control it, then the miraculous happens. The miraculous is fun and easy and it just happens without any effort. And being in the head trying to control it all, that's uh, actually, I mean in 12 step they say you become unmanageable because you're trying to control everything, you won't let go. So there's a different field. Do I want to sort it out with my ego? Or do I want God to sort it out? So that, that's the thing with overwhelm. The other thing is, of course, the observer. So one is like doing the cancer beliefs. You can do 12 steps. You can do the spiritual work. You can do prayer. As the observer, it's like, okay, I'm, I'm feeling overwhelmed. There's a hundred things I need to do, and I can't control any of them. So I'm just sitting here feeling overwhelmed. Okay, but uh, what is that? Well, those are just thoughts, aren't they? They're just thoughts. But what's observing those thoughts? Is there something here that's observing the thoughts that's not overwhelmed and not in these overwhelmed negative thoughts? Oh yeah, there's a witnesser of all these thoughts. And is the witnesser, is the witnesser overwhelmed or in negativity? And if it is, then is there a witnesser or an observer of that? And is that observer, is that place of observing, which is not uh, thought, is that overwhelmed? Oh, but there's a feeling feels like there's this, this feeling like uh, of overwhelm. Okay, but is there an observing of the feeling of overwhelm? Like three weeks ago, was there overwhelm or was there not overwhelm? So was there an observing of overwhelm coming? And then will there be, a, is there an observing of overwhelm going? So am I the overwhelm or am I the observer of the overwhelm? What about all these thoughts going on this, that, and other? Well, is there an observer of all these thoughts? And is the observer even interested in these thoughts? And what are you? Are you the observer or are you the feeling of overwhelm of the thoughts? Like, what are you? Like, find out. And actually, as soon as I go to the observer of the overwhelmed feeling, it starts to disappear. It's like, my God, why was I, like, stuck in this horrible thing? And just trapped in this feeling, thinking I was this feeling of overwhelm. And these thoughts, like, I, you know, obviously I had a payoff for being in my head. I wanted to be in the head and then get overwhelmed by the thoughts. So then it's like, but can I be the observer of thoughts? And then suddenly, like, the drama of wanting to be in all those thoughts of overwhelm and control, it's like, that's a mad idea. I don't want to be identified with thoughts. I'd much rather be in that infinite stillness and silence that's here right now. Yes? So you can, I could do the observer or the prayers or the 12 steps. But for me, it's like, 
with all problems in life, whether it's overwhelm, whether it's family, whether it's future work events, it's like who's going to handle it? Is it do I want my ego to handle it? Or do I do I want the infinite field to handle it? Do I want miracles to handle it, or do I want my ego to try and handle it? You know, and each and everything is a different level of, of vibration, a level of consciousness. Do I want to be in absolute fear and absolute thinking around the solution, finding the solution and handling the problem? Do I want to be relatively half in my head and half in spirit, or do I want to be fully in the infinite and let the infinite handle it? And I'd much rather the infinite handle things. Now, um, the, I mean, the problem is if everybody has is in a life which is reflecting their current faith. You know, so if you want to live on a higher level, or a higher spiritual level, you have to transcend the stuff that you're hooking into now that keeps you at a lower level. So it's not going to be easy to operate from a higher level. You have to have that commitment to let go of all those belief systems and all those things you do that tie you to a lower level of vibration control by starting to let go of things and not taking them back. And then you'll get to higher states of flow and the miraculous. You know, by letting go of your vested interest in wallowing in those lower fields where you're tracking more and having more negative beliefs and trying to control things more. So, um, I'll stop there.